Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So in this one here, I want to talk about things that Angela Kang had to say on on part two. She also explained some stuff that happened in episode eight and also clarified some stuff between Pope and Maggie that I, I do want to talk about. I actually have some kind of issues with it, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get into that right away. There's actually some really big news, though. I, I will say that there's actually some really big news in relation to the whole Walking Dead universe in general. And so I'm going to post that video uh, right after this. I also, in this video, will be talking about the Gabriel scene that was on Talking Dead, because that actually looked really good, and that was from Episode 9, so I don't know if you guys have actually seen it yet, but yeah, I want to talk about that. So obviously, before we go any further, make sure to be a subscriber if you want more Walking Dead content like this. And obviously, as usual, this will contain spoilers for Episode 8 for the entire first part, so if you haven't watched it yet, then don't continue on with this video. But uh, let let's get into the Gabriel scene first, I guess. So... The Gabriel scene happens during the day for some reason, so they're playing the time again, which is kind of weird, unless this does just happen later on, and some of the battling and, and the waiting out of, of the walkers does take that long, but they do this quite a bit. Like, usually you'll, you'll see an episode and it'll be nighttime, and then all of a sudden the next scene it's during the day, and it just always throws me off. It ha it's happened so much throughout the series, but anyways, you see Gabriel, it's during the day. He's wounded, and it looks like he's he's trying to run away from something, or he's running away from something. And he comes across the Man of God, and it's a very intense scene. Like, the, the Man of God, and I'm calling him that because of the synopsis, and I also have no idea what his name is. But uh, he basically says that, yeah, you know, I, I saw you the other day at the graveyard. And he and Gabriel was shocked. He's like, you saw me? Like, what? And he's like, yeah, uh, God told me. And And then Gabriel just seems to be so jealous that, like, God is speaking to him and not Gabriel, right? I feel like that's it's going to be such a really intense showdown. Seth Gilliam on Talking Dead actually couldn't spoil what happens here. So that's actually pretty exciting because I think that confirms a lot of things. I think that obviously it's going to be really big in terms of what it does for Gabriel as a character. I think Gabriel's just going to kill him, but I think, you know, and, and how it happens, I think it could really do a lot uh, to Gabriel. And uh, yeah, I'm honestly, I'm so excited to see where this character is going to go. He's he's taking a dark turn. This scene looked really incredible. I do wish we would have saw something else. You know, like I knew they were going to do a sneak peek. And so I was thinking, well, you know, anything that would show what would that what happened in the cliffhanger, that would be kind of cool. Um, anything with the Commonwealth seeing them arrive, that would also be really cool. But obviously, that's a little spoilery. We'll have to wait and see where or when that happens. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to happen at the end of episode nine, but obviously we have to wait and see. Angela Kang also did an interview with Insider, and she confirmed a lot of stuff that I want to go through right now. First of all, she confirmed that they are filming episode 16 right now. Usually this is the finale, but now it's not the finale, right? This is, this is uh, I guess, the finale to part two. So that's kind of cool. So right now, like as we wrapped up the part one finale, they are wrapping up filming the part two finale. And they still have eight more episodes left, so they're going to start on the final eight right away. They'll probably do, like, three or four more around there. I'm going to—I'm guessing probably, like, three more. But if they're still working on 16, then they'll probably do three more. They'll do one more this month, like, episode uh, 17 this month, uh, later in the month. And then in November, they'll do two episodes. And then, uh, obviously, in January, they'll go back. And then they film from January to, like, the end of March, and they'll they'll wrap up those last, like— five six whatever episodes that they have to do and then and just like that the walking dead's over so i guess throughout uh probably the the later half like episodes like what is that 13 14 of of season 11 we're gonna we're gonna see all the posts of, of them being done filming it'll be all emotional and i mean oh man i i i don't even know what like obviously the actors and stuff they're gonna be pretty upset it's gonna be very emotional but like what happens afterwards like with the actors and stuff because they're done and now all they got to do is talk about this show the walking dead is over for like for them right and now the fans just got to experience it it's going to be weird because for them it's it's really over it's going to be over sooner than it is for us so like i, I do wonder how that's how everything is going to uh, work out there especially like someone like andrew lincoln is he going to be on set for that are we going to learn some more stuff about the rick movie right like i have a lot of questions here because there's a lot that they can do here Angela King also s said that she couldn't say whether or not big deaths are coming. So that's not really good or bad, I guess. Like, you can't say it's bad because it's, it, that means that there's going to be no deaths. You can't say it's good because, like, that doesn't confirm whether or not there's, there's deaths at all. So I just, yeah, I hope there is. Honestly, I, I do hope so. Angela King was actually, she talked about the fact that 
part one didn't have a lot of deaths. And she said that it just didn't feel right to do any of that, right? It just didn't feel right to pick any of the bigger characters right now because we're just getting into all of this. And I like I I, I kind of disagree, but obviously she she knows what she's doing. That's why she's a showrunner. But I, I wish there was at least one big death here. I think they could have did a little bit more here and revealed more. And that was the one thing that she talked about quite a bit, too, was that the finale, the last or, or episode eight was supposed to be a lot bigger. There was just a lot of stuff that they wanted to do, but it just ended up, you know, there was way too much that it kind of had to go into episode nine. There's there's a bigger story there. And so, you know, some people may be a little disappointed right now, but it is going in, in a really good direction. So I'm definitely excited for part two. I think part two is going to be like 10 times better than part one. That's for sure. She also said, and I, I don't know why I feel like I contributed to this because like, I was one of the first people, and I, I, I was saying it as a joke, but that, you know, that was saying, like, oh, I wonder if Maggie and Negan have something there, like, like for a, a relationship, right? And I, I was kidding, and I don't think I'm responsible for that, so I'm not taking, like, ownership of that. I'm really not. But I notice sometimes, whenever I'll say something, whenever I do suggest something in a video, I'll all of a sudden, within, like, a day or two, I notice everyone else is talking about it. Or there's a certain narrative, you know, because like people will take my talking points and then just like they run with that and then eventually becomes something else that I was just probably just kind of saying whatever. And I, I don't think like I know, obviously, when you, when you watch the scene between them, you're obviously going to come to that conclusion. But like, I do hate that if I did contribute to that and, and in any way, I hate that I did that. And Angela King kind of laughed about the whole thing and just said, no, that's not going to happen. So uh, Maggie and Negan, no, that's not happening at all. She also talked about Judith and the whole Michonne thing with Virgil. She said that Judith doesn't feel scared that Virgil's going to tell everyone about Michonne and Rick. She doesn't really feel scared about it because she has bigger things to worry about right now. And then also on the Virgil side of things, he also doesn't really feel the need to blurt it all out just because he's trying to be respectful of everyone. You know, he's joining a new community. He doesn't want to start all this drama. I'm sure things could come up eventually, but, you know, not right away. And I just, I don't know. You know, I know those reveals are coming. I wasn't expecting it in part one, but I am worried that they're going to save that stuff for part three. Honestly, I, I, I want that stuff sooner. I want to live in it sooner. I want that exciting stuff. Like, Gimple today confirmed that the CRM and the Commonwealth know of each other. That was actually really surprising. I, 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 I had no idea. He didn't even mean to blurt that out, but just learning that, I, I felt so happy. Like, finally, something in relation to the Rick movies, just anything. And, you know, I feel like they hold back way too much. And so Angela King there, you know, I don't know if maybe that's uh, something that is going to happen in part two that she doesn't want to spoil. But I just, that stuff annoys me and it definitely annoys the fans because it just, it becomes so obvious when they're on screen. You have Judith and Virgil together. They're not saying anything. It's frustrating. It, it's just purely frustrating and not in a good way at all, especially because it's the final season. If you had a season or two to go still, then whatever. But it's the final season. I don't want that to be the ending to it all. You know, I, I, I don't know. I'm not, uh, that to me, that's not too exciting. So we'll have to wait and see. But, you know, in part two, my prediction is that it could happen towards the finale, like episodes 15 or 16. I think that would be really cool, but we'll have to wait and see. She also confirmed that Pope was bored, basically, when he decided to mark Maggie. You know, that was that's basically the, the whole thing. Actually, I don't know if she did. Gimple may have. I, I wrote it in my notes here. I don't know exactly where I got that from, but it could have been from Talking Dead. So I'm not going to say Angela Kang did or Gimple did, but basically it was confirmed that the reason for, for the Reapers coming after Maggie was that they were bored and Pope was just kind of like he went crazy and it was really as simple as that. And I mean, we saw that and it makes a lot of sense. I just I find it kind of lazy. I mean, can I say that? Like, I, I find it lazy that he was just bored and wanted to go out. Like, I know that people do that. And like, even in real life, some people just want to like, you know, go after people, bug people, bully people because they're bored or they just it's entertaining or you know what I mean? Some people are just garbage like that. But I, I just I don't know. I thought there was going to be something more here. And Angela King kind of confirmed in that interview as well that this arc is a shorter arc. So the Reaper arc is likely going to come to an end in episode nine. We're going to see it wrap up immediately. And I know a lot of people are thankful for that. I've been seeing a lot of people responding pretty, pretty harshly towards the Reaper arc. And honestly, I. I didn't know it was going to go this long. Originally, I thought, and you can go back to my previous videos, I thought it was going to be a three or four episode thing. 
I thought that by episode four or five, we would be in the Commonwealth already. That the Commonwealth, like Pamela Milton and all that, will, would have made it back to Alexandria, or not back, but would have arrived in Alexandria. I thought they were gonna. I thought it was gonna be way more entertaining than this. And when you look back at it, we did, we had we haven't even made it that far yet. It's just yeah. That's why I'm just disappointed with some stuff. Like I, I know they had to stretch out certain things. I know they wanted to to make it more of a a slower first part, slower part of the season because the rest of it's gonna be nuts. You know, and you want to be able to build up to something, do more character stuff. I just think, like I said in my in my other video, I think they kind of planned it all poorly. At least in terms of its, its focus, right? Like, I think they didn't know what to focus on. You're focusing on this and that. And, then you, you know, what's the main story here? And then you also don't really get any reveals. And episode eight ends in a way that it, it's, you know, and I don't want to sound like I'm complaining because I'm really not. I really enjoyed the first part here of season 11. Those are just some of my my criticisms of the first part. But, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely excited for all this. I'm happy that she clarified a lot of that stuff there. And yeah, the Gabriel scene for episode nine was just super awesome. So anyways, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it here. Make sure to post your thoughts down below. Hope y'all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.